Welcome to the Edge of the New Season, everyone. I'm your host, Swift Edge, and today we are back in the Season 2 of Vita Carnis. We have three videos, and all of them seem, well, except for Reveal Progress, a lot of it seems to be focusing on the singularities, which I'm here for, because this seems to be an entity that is part of this universe that we don't know a whole lot about. And going off of the season finale in Facility Zero, it seemed like the singularities were the main focus point, and I very much want answers. So we have got New Beginnings, Reveal Progress, and First Contact. Are you ready to go? Do you have your snacks? Do you have your drinks? I hope you do. Let's get into it. Ooh, and there's even captions in this. This video talks about and shows imagery of graphic content like flashing lights, gore, violence, death. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, it just sounds like a regular Tuesday night for me. Because of video games, because of because of scary games, not because I get up to weird stuff. Today, something has happened within the restricted zone, where a large group of cultists have been apprehended. Several teams of military personnel have arrested some high-ranking cultists and have unmasked their identities to the public. Shockingly, several of these members are well-renowned politicians and high-ranking members of multiple governments across Many the globe. Many documents have been oh released, providing sufficient proof of the atrocities that were being committed. Some of these crimes include murder, kidnapping, torture, ritual sacrifice, and the list goes on. The members are found guilty of deliberately providing false information to the public in an attempt to cause harm. Good! The Punish them! The company has been found to have very significant ties with cultist activities and has been shut down. All Good. the Trier products have been deemed hazardous for consumption. Cultists Thank you! are facing pressure to shut down. Public unrest grows as the new Trier cult case brings more crimes that were hidden away unchecked. from life. The people are outraged by how little was actually being done. They demand that something be done There's to handle so the much going on. Riots appear in the streets as protests begin to turn. Oh, this is just anarchy now. What happens now? Nothing but chaos. And it's all because of that. Are the singularities... Are the singularities birthing them? Welcome to Magister's Wonder Show. I am the Magister, and get ready to explore all of the world's wonders. I'm ready. Throw me in, Today, Coach. We are learning about the circle of life. We interrupt this broadcast to show you Dr. Marshall Trados, head director and do doctor of Carcass. Progress report, Test Virum, report what? number four. We still know very little about the nature of the entities. There are seven singularities in total. Mm -hmm. Each singularity is roughly one meter in diameter. Why would you touch it? They're of an unknown material, although it looks and feels very similar to glass. Why would you ever want to touch that we thing? We are unable to sample it in fear of causing potential damage. Mm. The material is very dark in color, but has red shimmers of light swirling inside. There are some hints of other colors present, but is mostly dominated by the red. Each entity hovers above the ground in a stationary position, although they can be moved with relative ease. Oh, okay. Our well, that's equipment can detect know. some subtle pulses of energy in rhythmic but random patterns. Oh, th is that communication between them? Is it communicating with the other species of the Vita Carnis? My, my fear would be shattering it and an explosion of chaos and flesh and blood just going everywhere and destroying everything. Sounds like a laugh? Sounds like laughing to me. We a don't bit. know what they are. We don't know if it is breathing or communicating. We don't even truly know if they are even organic. This is nothing new, just confirming what we already know. Well, thank you for letting me know. Our first experiments didn't give any interesting leads. The most we got was some interference with electronics. Hmm. Especially when there is more than one kept close together. But They're not letting you peek inside. The experiment we conducted showed extremely significant results. The experiment played out like this. In test chamber one, a live cow was released into the chamber with B1 for an extended period. They were left together for 24 hours. The test showed minimal results from the entity and an increase in stress from the cow. 
Oh, let's say it looks Next, like it's just walking around. The body around. of a cow was put into the chamber with V1 for 24 hours. The results were extraordinary. So the dead body actually has higher results than a live body? It's absorbing it? No, it's transforming the dead. Five hours after the whole body had been ingested, concentrations of crawl rapidly grew from several points from within the chamber. So it's absorbing the death. What this could mean, it rewrites everything we knew about the Vita Carnis species. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta cut that down. So it is essentially taking death and giving it its own version of life, which First, is terrifying. First, a young larva hatches from within its egg. It will roam around and find food to help it grow and grow. Once they are big enough, they transform into a pupa. And after some more time, they transform into an adult beetle. The adult beetle will go out into the world in search of And be destroyed because I step on it. Dr. Rhodes Saris, Crawl Specialist, Head Cultivator. Audio log. I hate ads so much. Progress report for crawl samples. Cultivation has been successful. So far, we grew them with three specific environmental factors. One is our control group, two with access to additional nutrition sources, and three with exposure to radio signals. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I, I don't like it. On par with standard crawl samples. No distinct abnormalities. That's not distinct? Group 2 grew at a faster pace than the control group, as expected. No distinct abnormalities. Well, they just kind of start zigzagging and grew connecting. against its normal pattern, weaving its way toward the radio. Once the device was claimed, it switched to usual growth patterns. Hmm. Again, no distinct abnormalities. There's something about the signal that's... In conclusion, that's... the samples that were grown in V1's test chamber don't seem to differ from others grown from other sources. Still, we will continue with more factors and further groups, just in case. Okay, so what if you played there the... There have been some developments in the propagation group. What if you V1 play... samples have seemingly been able to produce nodules at a slightly quicker rate than wild samples. Well, it's Control singularity. Control show that V1 samples begin node development a few days faster. More time will be needed to say for sure. As for the nodes themselves, there aren't any distinct abnormalities. We've successfully hatched a dozen carnish juveniles, several trimmings, two meat snakes, and even one mimic. Kill it, we will be sending them to the enclosures after everyone's reports get sent out. Why would you enclose and a what? mimic? Okay, so my question is why don't you try playing the radio signal like uh, a tape of the singularity doing its pulse and communicating. See maybe what happens with that. Same with you could do with all the enclosure now, Vita Carnis species. Playing the signal and see how they react to it. Because again, you could test it out to see is this communication? And if it is, and they start reacting to it in certain ways, then you know that they are directly communicating, and that kind of calls for a concern. Yeah, we're back to showing life. And then is ground into a fine mint, and is now ready for the garden. Nope, that was Vita Carnage crap. Don't want it. Don't want it anywhere near. Dr. Fawn Pe Penitro, trimming specialist. Yeah, show Audio us the trimmings log. that were born from this. Progress report for trimming colony. Significant progress in learning the social patterns of a group of trimmings we have been keeping together. You have seven of them. Juveniles were added to the main colony at the beginning of the new progress report. Okay. They were accepted into the community immediately. No conflict or rejection observed. There's been rejections circumstances before? to document more of their interactions. Trimmings communicate through a series of vocal cues. Colony members meeting the new batch with squeaks and squeals. They also are not afraid to show us when they are upset. No. Oh, God. Trimmings also use some Relax. physical displays as well. For example, Trimmings do a chewing or chatter motion with their mouths when they're happy or interested in something. Okay. Kind of like some animals. The experiment that we performed was to explore the extent of their communication skills. 
The test went like this. We took one of the trimmings and had them in place in a modified enclosure. A speaker would play two separate audio cues. A positive cue would play, followed by a treat. And a negative cue, followed by a small spray of cold water. Well, that's rude. We did several rounds of both audio cues to condition the trimming's response. Oh, that's what you want to do, is condition any part of this Vita Karna species. What are you going to do, condition the mimics to go after enemies? I can see them doing- I can see the government doing that, to be honest. And it terrifies me that they might. <laughs> well, it's... It's now conditioned to want a treat. Big reaction to not wanting a shower. I heard the sound and right away knew what was coming. After yeah, the you... test, the trimming was released back to its colony. Hmm. And after a few hours, we tested how much the trimmings communicated. Another speaker was placed near the colony's enclosure, where we played the same audio cues. Oh. Okay, that just shows that all it takes is one to be able to communicate and be like, yeah, so if you hear this sound, it's good. If you hear this sound, run away. That is way too intelligent. Incredible. To see how layered their social interactions can be. That's nuts. Although, we tried something a bit bizarre. We found out that a wild colony had settled around the facility recently. What? It, it was strange. What we did. It was a long shot. What did you do? We set up a radio device near the wild colony and near ours. We linked both devices up and played the cues. How? How would a dangers out there the How would a wild there colony know about that? Would love to have beetles for a snack. And unfortunately, not all beetles make it. Yes, it no, is sad, no, but wouldn't. that's how the circle of life works. But look, one of the beetles has laid eggs. And once the beetles eggs hatch, the beautiful cycle starts again, and life continues on. <laughs> life finds a way. Okay then, and just like we've done, we're just gonna go right into the next one. This is in a playlist. Okay, so somehow even those kept in captivity are able to communicate with those outside and create a network of communication so all of them understand. That is freaky. These are weird species. Now only the most beautiful, only the most unique specimens will be moving forward. There are lots of fossils like a, hidden the on the dog earth, thing? and plenty make their way into rivers and streams. You can look for them too. I don't want to look for nothing in the river. Dr. Azram Griffiths, Meat Snake Specialist, Recreation Audio Project log. Manager. Progress report on the Meat Snake Recreation Project. From our previous report, the juvenile meat snake we selected was grown in a standard captivity cell until maturity. The specimen we had selected was now an acceptable size for the project to begin. Okay, it looks like a graboid. Holy crap. Good grief. I love the practical the effects of it. The specimen was moved though, into that's... restraints. Twice a day, we fed it fresh meat, scraps, roadkill, making sure that it received the necessary materials like bones and organs to grow. Looks like something you would find in a graveyard for sure. Thing. The specimen's mood mellowed out. The usual intimidation display was now a patient eagerness. <laughs> it seems that the specimen now understands that we are feeding it. It couldn't Eleven smell the food? The, the specimen has slowed down immensely. It has also been occasionally rejecting food. It looks like we have been overwhelming it, not giving it enough time to properly digest and implement the material. 
Hmm. Feeding has been reduced to once a day, but with an increase of portion size. Why are you trying to fatten it up? 19 days into feeding. The meat snake has almost shut down entirely. It no longer reacts to external factors. Its color has changed. It still accepts food, but with assistance. A makeshift mechanism was made to help the feeding process. Favorable results have begun to show. I don't like that. The hue of the specimen skin has been turning shades darker. Uh huh. Sampling period seems to be approaching sooner than expected. Kind of like the, the massive meat feeding. snake. They, are they trying to get the to that? The specimen has reached all the required criteria to begin sampling. We managed to obtain a skin patch. We began Why? with cold resistance. The typical meat snake skin can hold its integrity up to negative 30 degrees Celsius. The specimen sample survived down to negative 100 degrees. Oh my god. Even gosh. maintaining flexibility. It's like a Canadian. Next, the heat resistance test. The sample was able to withstand impressive temperatures. We were only able to bring the temp up to 3,000 degrees Celsius before we had to bring in new equipment. Not even we a person from Florida could survive that. We determined that the sample's limit was capped at around 5,000 degrees Celsius. You finally got a hole through it, though, right? Sample testing was interrupted by a peculiar event with the specimen. Personnel during the routine feeding found that the meat snake had escaped its restraints. Oh, heck no! Performing mitosis. The two organisms were simply wandering the lab at the time. The project has been halted for now. And the two meat snakes have been moved back into their original enclosure. So they get... Too we far in growth, they'll just the split. The new process report. End log. That's weird. But cool though, I love that. They're they're pretty much like worms. They can just break apart and just oh, now you got two instead of one. You can make your own sieve at home. The mesh will catch large debris, allowing smaller things to pass through. But you can add more layers with different mesh to catch more things. I don't want to catch other things, man. I really don't. Because then you show me that. Contestants so far, but there can only be one winner. And this year's winner is. Patty! That resembles a bit of a dinosaur. I don't. Mm mm. I want nothing of that. Dr. Farron Brones, mimic uh, expert. This is my audio report for this month's progress. Oh, you sound so I'll nervous. A little bit late by a few months. Anyway. Why are you falling behind on your job, man? Slow, but there have been some fascinating findings. I guess I'll start with the juveniles. Feisty fellas, already chock full of hunting instinct. Their hunting patterns are similar to other ambush predators. They will wait and then catch oh, their oh, prey with their- Oh, 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 God, I hate it. Oh, God, I hate it. And the way he talked about it too, he was like, oh, that feisty little guy. This thing will rip you apart! Element of surprise. They prefer to hunt prey smaller than themselves. Hmm. Stuff they can take down easily. But once Shocker. they're older, they start getting a little cockier, but they have the killing it. technique to back it up. Mm. They usually aim for the throat or neck to deliver a kill as fast as possible. But once they metamorphosize into their adult form, it's harder to determine their patterns. Don't clean it up, just kill it! We don't need more of them out in the wild! They just need the to be dead! The we do manage to get into their adult form don't last very long. They simply hide away, rejecting all food we provide. It's because they want to hunt it. As it is well known, adults only eat human flesh. Mm. The adults we have all die to starvation. The best candidates for research are the ones we capture out in the wild. They last longer, most likely due to them already having food and nutrients in their systems. Oh, gosh. It's not something I dwell on too often. I am thankful for the ones they bring in for me. I got several adults. Even a few humanoid ones. Oh, no, no, no. I'm able to understand a bit of how they work before they eventually will Pass away. <clears throat> uh, the hunting tactics of the adult forms change drastically from their previous form. Hunting now takes much longer as they observe and watch their prey. They are very cautious, mm. waiting for the best opportunity. They take advantage of anything they can to get an upper hand. Their Tricky most popular jerks. tactic nowadays is climbing inside of furniture. 
freshly metamorphosed adults are roughly 160 centimeters in height, but can fold themselves tightly into small spaces. One was even found inside one of those old-fashioned mannequins. And older adults still fit exceptionally well in tight places. It's funny, we didn't even know they could do this until the late 70s. They weren't even called mimics then. They were called uh, butchers. They changed it because its name better matched the description of characters in some kids' board game. Anyways, uh, the hunting tactics beyond this. You are mean Dungeons and Dragons? Using to say the least. All depictions of their patterns have been wrong in one way or another. Ever since that public announcement in '86. Okay, don't mean to interrupt you. That's not easy. That's that's not good hiding. That is piss poor hiding. That is like I hope. That's me trying to hide from my kid and just being like, I hope he doesn't find me. <laughs> They keep changing it. Do better. In reality, it is almost completely random. Each case in the wild is different and it's hard to determine why in captivity. Plus, human testing is a no-go. Mm. Even though I volunteered myself. Gee, I wonder it's why. So close to figuring it out. Calm down. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Calm down, you need to relax. stages are even harder to... Wait, how long do these tapes have to be? As long as we need them to be so we understand how everything works with these things so we know how best to also protect ourselves and kill them. These need to be made public. So people out there in the wild know what to do. Look, this one would have fallen through our first sift. There are plenty of other fun things you can find as well. Oh no, my sieve isn't working. Looks like there's a hole in your mesh. Make sure your mesh isn't damaged, or else something might slip through. Yeah, something might. Footage of the incident with the V1 involving the cleanup team in test chamber one. Oh no. Four years before I was born. Four years before I was born, they had a really big incident, huh? Oh no, did it absorb the people that came in to clean? Cause so far it's only been shown absorbing dead people. What what's been happening with the live people? Help! 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 What happened? My legs tied. It's bad. It's bad. I'm bleeding. What what do I do? I can't reach. What do I do? Help me down, please. It's gonna take you. Please. We need medical assistance in test chamber one. Oh, God. Stay, stay calm. Help is on the way. Oh, oh, just try to stay calm. Oh God. It's gonna start oh, reacting, God. isn't it? All right, we're here. We're going to help you. Lower the ladder slowly. This is going to hurt. Okay, hold still. Oh no! Ready? Now! Uh oh! It's reacting to the blood and the wound. There's nothing to get out. Because he's probably either been changed or absorbed. I So that's just furthering that these singularities are causing this. Which, when you think about it, is just oh so freaking terrifying. The fact that seven of these things could be moved around the world and then just... <laughs> create all these fleshy creations. All these monsters that all they want to do is... Feast upon flesh and blood. Is there captions on this? There's, captions on, there's no captions on this one. This is also the most recent one. This one came out a few days ago. And I don't know if I'm prepared for it. Because I don't know what is happening right now. This feels like the singularity is pulsing and trying to communicate. This is first contact, yes. Yep, it's back into the incident of how it... All the entities are freaking out. The system can't handle all of this. Turn off the power. Sir, do it. Okay, so they all are reacting to that. Because one was starting to freak out because of one person being injured. And they all went, oh, something's happening. We're doing it. The gang's doing it.
I was about to say, why would it, why did it have to get so quiet? It is called the electromagnetic spectrum. I have nothing but chills up and down my back right now. Power is now on. Systems appear to be stable. Okay, awesome. Check the damage and get my eyes down there. Nothing but chaos, my man. Entering the chamber. That one's still freaking out. I wouldn't say that that one is completely Entity stabilized. Much more active now. Sir, it, come in. Because it had human flesh. I can't tell what you're saying, sir. Please respond. What? What the hell? I can't hear you clear enough. Was it trying to talk to them? Bro, what? The waves reach the antennae and translate it into sound. Summary of incident, please, yes. I need full info dump on this. The cleaner had been caught in between the steps of the ladder and snapped their female- Yep! Yep, that's what I thought had happened. Oh. I've watched a video of a person who fell off their ladder and I'm surprised their leg didn't get caught. Besides unusual bruising and clotting, the cleaner is now stable. At the time of injury, V1 began to become irritated and extremely active. No personnel were injured following the initial accident. So what started happening to them? Because they're saying, what's going on with him? Why is he- during inspection of test chamber one, one of the guards handheld transceivers began to experience interference because it was interacting and trying to send a signal to talk. Sounds that came from the transceiver were chaotic and random, but there were some lines of coherent speech from both Dr. Trados and what seems to be the entity. Dr. Trados came up with an experiment to test a hypothesis. He had the device connected to the test chamber in an attempt to communicate to the entity. Oh yeah, let's talk to it. Let's find out what it wants, guys. Come on. Let's see what's going on with it. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you understand what I am saying? Can you hear? Yes. Oh no! What now? What should I say? Please go away. We don't want any world harm what are done. You? What are you? I think it heard you. Let's try something. The handheld device was switched to one of the devices used for trimming testing, an alarm clock radio. Interesting. Can you still hear us? <laughs> okay. That's freaky. It's like playing Phasmo. What are you? <laughs> we to you? Can you explain? Oh, what so are your connections all entities just get to suffer. Species? A little bit, a little. That's very vague answers. Like that's that's very vague. What are you supposed Do to gather? You know why you are here? Did you hear us? Maybe it doesn't know why we it's here. Getting anywhere. What? They're curious. It, they know. They know what they're speaking through. Uh, 
That's sick. Catches your noise to be specific. Radios transmit and receive waves and translate it into sound. I love that he actually likes it. It's probably from your siblings or friends. Do you want more radios? Bring in a TV. Let's see what happens. Nothing. There'll be nothing that happens on a TV. Hey, if not a radio, what do you want? Holy fudge! Even the color you see and the sounds you hear. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. I I'm so confused on what these things actually fully want. Then they make life, and it's very much all in the pattern of pain, suffering, but living. So they want to create. They just can't help but create so things that are in pain. Yes. You don't understand your concern, but this is the biggest breakthrough we have ever gotten. It's this may be the, this may be the, be the greatest breakthrough of all history. It's translating the sound so it can the understand. The UN will be arriving in just a few days to see our progress. This is too important to stop now. We are on the verge of something massive. If the representatives are impressed, we get the funding to see how far this can go. So, for now, you and your team go and get the orbs if they want. Keep making reports, but keep them quick. We need to learn as much as we can in this short time frame. You, you went from breakthrough to all about money real fast. That didn't take very long. For all the future tests with singularities, there will be a radio with a speaker present to allow communication for the entities, as well as for personnel to ask questions. Makes sense, that way you can actually be like, alright, so we're going to conduct this if you're okay with it. During test setup, we were able to capture singularities communicating to each other. We were working to decipher, but as of now, we were unable to understand what was said. Yeah, they still are talking in their own language for only themselves to understand. I like that each one has a distinct chatter noise. That one needs a cup of tea and just needs to relax. Yeah, you tell Seven to relax a little bit, alright? He needs to just chill. V1 was given several different electrical devices. We attempted to communicate more with it, but it didn't speak very often. Only single words out loud, not directed towards anyone. It was more interested in, with the devices than our questions. So it's more interested with what you can create versus you yourselves. Tests and questions were repeated with the other singularities. Each singularity acted differently than each other and gave differing answers to the questions. They all have their own personalities. They are their own beings. Although there were common factors that each shared, each one has a fascination with electronic devices, especially radio. They are interested in entertainment like television, the radio, and music. Especially classical music! They got good taste! Can they communicate through the TV, though? That's my question. During testing with V1's interaction with the television, notable interference was detected with other electronics. V1 also spoke out loud several times. Yes. That's what I want. Show me a picture of what it... Never mind, that's terrifying. Turn it off. What is it trying to say? Oh, we're doing a zoom in. What is this?
trying to get a better understanding of life, maybe? They travel up to 28,000 kilometers per hour. Actually, no singularity. Whoa! Last day before representatives arrive, after multiple tests with each singularity, we were able to put find out each one's personality. Number seven has ADHD. V1 neutral and expressing itself engages with personnel minimally as possible, only shows interest with electronics and testing. Okay. Curious in nature, asks questions often descriptive in its wording, eager to engage in testing. It's a little bit more, uh... Okay. V3 more active, engages with personnel in a detached manner rather than one-on-one, -on -one, engages minimally with personnel. V2 is more cooperative and be like, hey, I want to talk. Actively engaged with personnel, cares about the personnel and what they are testing, prefers questioning us than conducting tests. Ooh, it wants to know more about you. V5, more expressive out loud than other singularities, although it speaks often only out loud to itself, has yet to communicate with personnel. It, it can't be bothered. It's that, it's that edgy friend in anime. Rarely engages out loud only with incoherent noise, doesn't acknowledge personnel, minimal engage, engagement with testing. This one's an introvert. This one's an introvert and doesn't want to do anything with anyone. Least active singularity has shown minimal engagement with all activities except electronics, only engages with other singularities. Ah, it's like, that's my boys, that's my friends. I'm only talking with my friends. Understandable, understandable. You and representatives arrive. This is our main observation room, where we conduct much of the testing on the singularities. As you can see, we are still performing tests. We've learned much from the entities, and if we were to have your support, we can continue our work here. I am sure we can... What is that? Of course, this is where it all goes wrong. <laughs> Give us the funding now! We gotta figure out what's going on here! Come on! There has been much learned in our time together. I agree with Dr. Trados. As we continue, I am sure this union will benefit all. Symbiosis, we join together. Let us sow seeds and watch what grows. Divine purpose, let us show you. Let us guide the way. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Nope. Join us. Nope, I'm good. I don't want to join. Join us. Become one with what? Oh, that just got real spooky. Doesn't help that there's construction outside. It just resumed. And it just shook my house with that, too. Oh my lord. So these things have now just grown to a point of like, hey, we're gonna have some great talks. But I was also told in the past videos to pay attention to the descriptions in this. Um, which I'm not entirely sure what I need to be looking for here. Because I was told that apparently there are videos that are unlisted and that there are videos that you can decipher from certain things. I think maybe I just found one. What is this? What am I watching? What the fuck did I just watch? Right, for everyone that tells me to watch secret videos, y'all gotta give me warning that it gets real weird up in here, okay? Is this, is this, okay, so I think each new video in season two has something in the description. Maybe it's been in the entire series. I don't know, I have not checked and that's on me for not checking. And then I was also tweeted at about a video too, so let me go check that. Okay, so there was nothing that was tweeted at me, never mind. Okay, ooh, ooh. Okay, this one is 15 seconds, the other one is four minutes? Hi.
Looks as some of the writing has been reversed. I don't know what I just witnessed there. Interrogation of Simon Vanguard, 1991. The interrogator was tasked with uh, getting as much info from Simon before his transfer into custody to await trial. Simon chose to remain silent. Shocker that a criminal decides to do that. Simon Vanguard. Do you know why we're here? We're just gonna ask some questions. And this will go by a lot quicker if you give us some answers. Oh, is he a mimic? As we both are the head of a large cult following. Can you give us some insight on how you came to be in that position? You are a veteran, yes. You were enlisted at the age of 18. You must have seen some traumatic things. Could they have had any influence on what you were doing? You had some very interesting connections in your community. Some very important people. Any chance you'd like to tell us how that came to be? Or your connections to New Trierco? So he was one of the people that was arrested in that raid, obviously. Mention of the railway tunnel from 1945 seemed to trigger a response from Simon. Was he there? I mean, it's not. Totally out of possibility. We know about your connections to the railway tunnel in 1945. We also know that you were involved when the creature disappeared in 47. What was the reason you kept feeding it after the war? And where did you hide it? We also know what else was kept down there. Oh, so that's what gets you interested. What was your connection? Uh, you gave it away. You let it slip. You seem very fond of all of them. It must disappoint you that they've been contained, seized by the Carcass Foundation. Oh. Fool. Why is that so? They're studying them. You don't even know what they are. Uh, why would it be foolish to learn more about them? I don't think that's why he's saying fools. Well, please enlighten me. You have a deep devotion to the entities of all of the Carnus species, in fact. Devoted enough to do that to yourself. Why did you devote yourself to these creatures? Oh, why did he cut his face? Is that why it's very so pink? What is so important that you blindly follow these entities? You don't question their will. And why not? And what's their will? They say you have visions. These visions of yours. What do they say? You must do as they say. Don't question it. It's all for something greater than us. Now I'm gonna question that. What is it? What must you do? No, 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 no. I must follow. I devote myself. I devote myself. I knew it, he cut away his face! Alright, sedate him, calm him down, do something. During Simon's outburst, he attempted to free himself of his leg restraints. Security promptly entered and constrained him. Good! The fact that he mutilated himself for that. Little information was learned about Simon and his motives. Well, we learned that he mutilated himself because of his devotion to them. That is effed up. That's a messed up cult. That is, wow, this series is, oh my gosh, it's just getting so good. It's getting so interesting. But I'm gonna need some information, which I know that some of you have. So leave those comments down below. This is, I can't wait for more. This is a fantastic series. I'm so glad I watched it and started watching it and I'm continuing to watch it. But I'll be keeping my eye out for the next 
episode, the next entry. But if you enjoyed this as much as I did, make sure to smash that like button. If you want to go check out Darian's channel, check out that link down below. Also, leave some comments down below to give me more information and uh, hints on what all this is leading to. If you have any theories, I'd love to hear them. If you know anything, let me know. Also, if you have any series like this to me watch in the future, give me some suggestions down below. Take more consideration. Also, if you're new around here and you've been enjoying what you're seeing, why not hit that subscribe button? Make sure you have that bell turned on so you get notified of my next video. I will see you on the next one, though. Bye!